Good morning, Wiggly Butt. Hi. Are you a big boy? I'm here. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Good morning, everybody. It is 9 o'clock. Slept it in. Come, buddy. Ah, my hair. Get some light in here. Hi, Popeyes. Oh my goodness. It's time to get this day started. Dad is back at work. And by back at work, I mean right out there at his desk. <laughs> Eric gets to work from home. So we get to sneak in some cuddles, huh? You guys get to hang out with me and this kid. See what we do when dad works from home. First things first, this guy needs a diaper change. He probably needs to eat. Now when he goes down for his morning nap, this girl, I got a shower. I'm part of the crusty crew today. Where is he? There he is. Hi. Say good morning, Hi, Daddy. buddy. Did you sleep good? <laughs> Eric Did starts work at good? 7 a.m. Right now it's 9 a.m. Yeah. So he's been working for two hours. You got my string. <laughs> he does have your string. You got my string, buddy. <laughs> good morning. I'm about to go on break in like two seconds. And then we have a little snack. Hi. Chungas, Hi. chungas, chungas, chungas. Oh, Did you sleep yeah. good, my little buddy? <laughs> you liked that? Did the puppy get you? Yeah, you kicked Whoa. daddy in the face. Kick daddy in the face. Wow, buddy. You smell like pee pee. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh, was that a giggle? <laughs> Maybe. Break time, smoothie time. Smoothie time, smoothie time. It is smoothie time. Hey. Eric gets two 10 minute breaks. Yep. I'm on my first break. We're gonna make a smoothie, Cody. Tell them the so, ingredients. So, first ingredient is a lot of frozen strawberries. Well, I see ice in there, so I'm pretty sure it's ice, ice is the first ingredient. Next ingredient is just like a, a fill of frozen strawberries. Yeah, we're as you can see, we save them. Yes, we do. In the fridge. Bananas are overpowering. I don't know if they're gonna stand a chance with those strawberries, but... Handful of spinach. Handful. Shoot. Five minute rule. Next ingredient coming. It's in once camera time. PB. And um, we're trying this new uh, vegan protein powder. It's dairy free, right? Yes. Yeah, that's what vegan means. Been trying to be more vegan conscious. Vegan conscious. Yeah, we're trying <laughs> trying to um, eliminate dairy as much as possible. So this is a vegan smoothie. Technically. Wow. I feel like most smoothies are vegan. Scoop of those, some water. Blending pate. Get ready for a loud noise, buddy. Whoa. Good, but I really like the ghost cereal milk protein. I'm liking this for a vegan protein smoothie 100% out of 100. I don't know why I didn't say that. Out we have Zen set up real quick just so we can eat our smoothies. He's in his little swing, Back watching the dancing veggies. Back to work for me. All right, this mama's gonna try to get in a quick shower. Zen's in his swing while dad's supervising at his desk. Um, so let's see how that freaking shower. Ooh. Okay, didn't last my whole shower. My dad's okay. I came out and daddy was holding him. Didn't get to brush my hair. That's okay. I think he's ready for his first morning nap. So we're gonna change his diaper and I think I'm gonna put him in a sling. I usually like baby wear him for his first nap. Nap time. Morning nap has been initiated. It was a little bit of a struggle. 
Um, honestly, I think he was cold. I have him in a um, in a long sleeve onesie, so his legs are out, and his legs were like little icicles. Covering him with a fuzzy blanket, and honestly, it seemed like right when I did that, he went to sleep. Looks like I'll be stuck holding this blanket. Obviously, didn't get to brush my hair. Is what it is. So right now. It's 10:25. We'll see how long he naps for. Not you'll just catch me walking around the house with this thing because it's honestly not comfortable to sit down in it. So it's fine. It's fine. It's my life, and I love it. Hi everyone, it's me dad. <laughs> I am on my lunch and wifey right here feeding Zen is about to make us lunch while I hold Zen. I want to say that Zen ended up waking up at like 11.45ish. He was like really crying. I think he was just starving. So he slept for like an hour and 15 minutes. On me. But what I was about to say is Cody is about to make us a really delicious lunch. We've actually been having for breakfast because it's kind of a breakfast item. But avocado toast and put eggs on it. And let me just say, we decided to try free range eggs. Is that what they are? Which I think means that they got to f have free range of the farm field. But I'm just saying, I don't know if it's just the batch we got, but they are really, really good eggs. I'm gonna go show you what they look like. So, these ones are called Happy Egg. You can see they're free range. But I'm just saying these eggs, very good. And worth the extra dollar or whatever. Two dollars, five dollars, I don't know, they're good and they're worth it. We also, being dairy conscious, been rocking with some Odaly milk because it's Odaly good with our cereal. I recommend that too. Just trying to like minimize dairy. I feel like dairy makes you bloated and gassy, but it's still needed on like pizza and stuff. All right, stay tuned for the avocado toast. Sitting in a swing. We also have some grapes and raspberries here too. Yeah. Alright, taste test. Ready? Thank you for cooking. You're welcome. Can't even wait for me. I'm hungry. All we have is a, all we have is a smoothie and it's 12 30. I'm mm. a starving girl. Like Zen. Mmm. It's really good. So Come simple on. and good. Yeah, I highly recommend this. Try to get those free range eggs. Yeah, but do you know that <clears throat> you trust it is what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Do mm -hmm. so they get free roam at the farm? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, all the packages would say. I don't want to say cage free. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now that we're having this talk, look up the difference of cage free and free range. You know what? I'm gonna look it up per Google. All right. Which Google is obviously a fact checker, a fact maker. Is there a difference between cage-free and free-range? The most significant difference between eggs from cage-free and free-range hens is outdoor access. Put simply, free-range hens have it, while cage-free hens don't. But with outdoor access come so many other benefits to hens, most notably the ability to display their natural behaviors. Look at them roaming in the field. I don't want to look at that. I'm eating their egg. All right. Cage-free facilities have more hen-on-hen -hen violence and lower air quality than facilities that use cages. You hear that? So cage-free is bad. Eric, we're bad for eating these eggs. No, I'm saying for us. You don't want to eat eggs from a stressed out hen. What about the meat that we eat? I bet you those cows are stressed. Probably. Mom's sad. Yeah. Dad's going back to work. Back to work. Wee! 
It is 1.07 and we're just gonna hang out, me and the bake. Maybe we can do some tummy time. Kaplooey. Oh, okay. I think he's getting tired and ready for another nap. Here you go, look bud. Where's your book? Where's your book? Oh, there it is. Good job. You guys, he has a freaking circle on his forehead because he headbutted my plug. Also, I wanted to show you guys this model that we got. So, Eric and I ordered this Dreamland, Dreamland baby swaddle. We got the, the vest kind, because he doesn't like to be swaddled down. It swaddled down. So, we ordered this expensive swaddle, because we were just curious. It's weighted. It made me a little nervous at first, but it's not too weighted, and it's evenly distributed. And I feel like if it wasn't safe, I would hope that they wouldn't sell a product like this. So last night was the first night that we had him in it. It claims to put your baby to bed faster. Did it do that? No. Did it make him sleep longer? I think so. He slept from like, I think it was like 11 to 4. But he's done that before without this swaddle. But on the tag, it does say to give it like a week. See a difference. So, but I think, I don't know. We're just gonna keep using it and see what it does, see if it's worth the money. We did get it on Amazon, and Amazon is super easy to return stuff. So if we're not liking it in like two weeks or something, I think we're just gonna return it. Does anybody else feel like they're just spending their whole day trying to get their baby to nap? Because <laughs> I feel like we just woke up from a nap. Honestly though, I lose track of time. So like he woke up from his nap, I put him in his swing, I made lunch, Eric and I ate lunch and we hung out. So it's literally been already like an hour and a half already. and. At the two hour mark, hour and a half, he's like ready for another nap. So partially it's me losing track of time. Because when he starts getting crabby, I'm like, why is he getting crabby? It's like, oh yeah, he's already been up for a while. He's ready for a nappy nap. So let's see what this nap time entails. I think I'm going to lay down in bed and have him nurse laying down. And maybe he can fall asleep that way. And we're just going to wait for Nan to get off work. Hi guys. It is... I scared Zen. <laughs> It is 3.35. Zen did end up taking a nap. However, it ended up being in a stroller because Addie had to go outside. So I plopped him in a stroller and uh, he fell asleep. And now he's eating and Eric gets off work in 25 minutes. We're going to go on a nice walk, get some fresh air, come home. We're going to have some leftovers and continue our show. We're going to watch some Pam and Tommy on Hulu. Pretty dang good. <laughs> Here you go, oh, you want to hang out with daddy, don't you? Me too. Dad's off work. Woo! We're it's... doing fart exercises. Run, 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 and fart. Anything? He's like, I like the camera. Come on, Tudor. You want to go for a walk, Chunger? It's looking pretty sunny. We're on our walk, and Eric's going in circles. How does that plane sound? Let me know. Yeah. We're trying to get Zenpai to take a nappy pie. So Eric's Zen on the Eric's on the brick pavement, so it's nice and bumpy. Do one more. He's like <laughs> one more loop. Dad mode activated. He's listening to um, Encanto soundtrack. We're trying to keep his pacifier in his mouth. So, I don't know if we talked about it on the vlog, but Eric got the Tommy Tippy. Sorry if the lighting is bad. Eric got the Tommy Tippy pacifiers. The breast like, what's it called? Breast like pacifiers? Breast form. Something, it's, it's the breast shaped one. Breast and flavored. He really, and he really likes it, but it does not stay in his mouth because it's kind of like heavy. No pacifiers stay in his mouth. So, I saw somebody else on YouTube. They use the Tommy Tippy Light Ultra Light pacifiers. So, Eric ordered those off Amazon. So, maybe those will stay in his mouth. Yeah, we're hoping. I have a question. Do you guys do this or this? This Nobody or this? Nobody does that unless they're smoking I do a blunt. This. <laughs> <laughs> I do this and Eric was making fun of me. Here's our view. Look, Look at the beauty as Eric would say. Let's show the bubby. Oh. He's not Dark. liking he's not liking that <laughs> sun. Ruin that. <laughs> right, we're gonna continue our walk. Peace out, uh, what? cool guy, Carol, Carol. Baby, out of my baby, hey. Oh, hey guys, we just got back from our walk and I'm just singing to my son. Yeah, I'm weird off camera, sorry. 
if he likes it. We are warming up. Oh, hey. We're warming up Din Din from last night. Last night we had what we call taco fun, which is basically taco bowls. So, a lit night in the Acoin family household. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Sorry I work now. Um, maybe give this video a like, help make us famous. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night, day. I love you. Thanks for watching again. Bye bye. I think he's pooping on me. <laughs> <laughs>